Ale bwe kene ni mwono zon. No bose. Uwuruchi. Nke tata. Aise na no ya dronyo bina bonyi bwona mma. No ya dronyo bina bonyi biafra na mma. Aise kwa doni nga adike chine chia da kwa wu. Tua ipulo chia kwa ya dirili. Ise. 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 Eh, Una ya dika isi kunu kwa. Na yi gana kwa mbone uteru ni ya bo update. Fana bo daily update. Ni ilwa kuko. Basta ma kifene meno obeda. Ande. Basta maka ya bo mwelo we anazo. Maka odem na mandi bo. Maka mpa bo ane ime bo eno boda akalika. E ma bifa e aye e gosyo ni ya bo ifa ji maka ya webe na alwa iz news. Ka isi wote ya bo uzi. Di ka isi kuno kuno chete. Na gine wote do ni deli update kuna ni fene meno boda. Na sita na eastern news 24. E ge ya bife achwa muka unka mong nilu mong. O mena ege jitiru ni ya bife kuno ge ya. No boda gugo. O boda wali go. Ife na gugo nubo nkebe zoku. Ike se ya bife drop around your own comment. Ike feature ni lwa kwa basta maki yenda ije geyeno. Alright, over to you. It's trending around the world. Hello, Jenny. Good morning, Dr. Abati. How are you morning. this morning? I'm good. It's been a great morning uh, so It's far. a green day. It's a green morning. Sorry, yeah. I didn't get you that. You are the odd person. As the exceptional woman in the room. Thank As the exceptional woman in the room. Oh my goodness, it looks really good. I yes, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, very nice. You know I always go to it. I saw it and I'm like, oh, you're going to miss out today. Well, <laughs> you're missing when, out today. When Dr. Abati said green day, all I just, all just came to my head was a rock band. I knew it. Well, you love music. The rock band. Yes, don't we just love our country? Well, all right. Well, good morning to you viewers. Let's begin what's trending. As Nigeria continues to grapple with a spate of kidnappings, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu on Wednesday announced that no ransom will be paid for the rescue of a children abducted in Kaduna State. Briefing State House correspondents after the Federal Executive Council meeting, the Minister of Information and National Orientation, Mohamed Idris, said that Tinubu also directed security agencies to ensure that the children are rescued and brought back to safety. Government is not taking any excuses. The, the President has directed that security agencies must, as a matter of urgency, ensure that these children and all those who have been kidnapped are brought back to in safety and also in the process to ensure that not a dime is paid for uh, uh, ransom. So it's important to underscore that. No dime, government is not paying anybody any, any dime, and the government is optimistic that um, these children and other people that are abducted will be brought back to their families in safety. The government will not condone uh, abductions or kidnappings or any kind of uh, criminality in that direction. Well, the minister there I also stated that you know foreign countries are going to help Nigeria to rescue these uh, children, our uh, students back, and you know including the United States, and that you know there are a lot of them that are trying to help out, and you know they will let us know um, where they stand. Well, in the meantime, the Nigerian police force have called on citizens to begin arresting criminals so as to help the police force tackle worsening insecurity in Nigeria. The spokesperson for the police force, Olumuiwa Adejobi, made the appeal on Wednesday in a post on X charging Nigerians to exercise their powers as a people to curb insecurity in Nigeria. His tweet reads, Internal security. It requires our collective responsibility to tackle insecurity in Nigeria. Every citizen and resident has a role to play, including me. Section 30 of the Police Act 2020 has empowered you to arrest any suspect or criminal, as the case may be. Then, a community that comprises many individuals has more powers to perform wonders in combating crimes and criminality in our society. Let's all exercise our powers as a people to curb insecurity in Nigeria. I will always play my role as in Nigeria. What of you? Uh, Ayo, what about you? Okay. I mean, I, I don't know how much we can help if we have bandits that are, you know, roaming our forests with AK-47s in the north 
and we are not allowed to carry guns. I mean, it's not in our constitution, by the way. And, uh, you know, how are we going to combat this? Uh, how are we going to help the police force? So is this an indirect support of the um, bill by Senator Ndia Dunwoko for us to begin to carry fire? <laughs> Maybe, who knows? Because if we're going to be, um, you know, exercising our rights to yeah. citizens' arrest, and not even starting with petty thieves, yeah. but actually talking about bandits and yes. that, that's it. Right, then we are in serious trouble because yeah. how many people, even the policemen themselves, the security agencies themselves have complained in the past yes. that their weapons are not sophisticated enough for them to be able to engage these terrorists in, 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 in combat or in perhaps when they come to, to, um, to, to kidnap or to, or to terrorize the, the, the place. But one thing I must mention is that what these statements mm -hmm. do not give confidence to the Nigerian people to state that this government or this administration has a grasp on the insecurity challenges that we currently face. The first thing I'll say, going back to the first story, in terms mm -hmm. of no payment of ransom, is that I'd asked a question earlier that if you're I'm going to ask people not to pay ransom, it cannot be the first place we start from. Mm -hmm. If you're going to tell a parent not to pay money or look for money to pay for their child to be um, released from being kidnapped, then you have to ensure that the kidnapping in itself does not happen. We've talked about this in the last week. Not only did we report the, um, um, the children, over 200 children kidnapped, but we also had following 60 other children were kidnapped. So almost like a slap in the face of the security agencies and the government in itself. Mm -hmm. So if you're not dealing with the issues and just giving directives upon directives, because that's another directive that's come out to the security agents to rescue the children, after about one week, then yeah. we're, we're joking. Mm -hmm. And then you're telling people not to pay ransom. That is perfectly fine, because indeed, we don't want to create an enabling environment for the criminals to think that it's a very profitable venture to kidnap children. But unfortunately, we are making the right statements, but not making the right moves. Absolutely. We are not securing our children. We brought up the Safe School Initiative. We're not securing our children. So I, I think, it, it, very importantly, this looks like confusion upon confusion, and it does not inspire confidence in the people that you have um, security on, on hold. All right, Dr. Abati, I wanted to take this, well, but I do ahead. not imagine that mm -hmm. Olu Muiwa Adichobi, the police spokesperson, He's saying that Nigerians should carry arms and go to Sambisa Forest to do the work of the security agencies. That's not the sense that I understand what he's saying. What he's saying is the same thing that the uh, security chiefs have been saying, that security, national security, is a collective responsibility and that citizens also have a role to play. Absolutely. That's and what that was said. why he quoted Section 39 of the police act. It didn't go further. You should also have quoted section 40 of the same police act 2020. You should also have quoted section 60 of the same police act 2020. The combined reading of it is that as a citizen, if you see another citizen committing a crime, behaving in an unlawful manner, it's part of your responsibility as a citizen to arrest the person However, you do not have powers to inflict punishment. That would be jungle justice. Mm. Section 60 says you hand over the person, and section 40, subsection 3, also says the same thing of the police act. You hand over the person to the police. That way, you are helping the police to do their work. But the problem here is that even when a citizen tries to do private citizen arrest, it leads to controversy. Take the example of the governor of uh, Lagos State. The governor of Lagos State once arrested, uh, uh, some people were trying to rob a motorist. Mm. And he handed them over to the police and they were taken to court. People said, oh, is that his job? That he should face his job. Mm. But he was acting under the law. The other time, the same uh, governor, Sonwulu, arrested one uh, soldier yeah. uh -huh. who was misbehaving. People said, ah, you know, he's a civilian. Why would he arrest a soldier? That's an example of citizen action. In 2019, Governor uh, Ambade, as he then was, also arrested, saw somebody misbehaving and arrested the person and handed over the person to the police. But the problem here is that when the police say, the police is your friend, mm. many people don't want to bother themselves. They say the same police that will go and go behind to uh, meet the person that the citizen arrested and collude with that person to, to set them uh, out. So that is where the problem is. As for the president saying no ransom should be paid, we've heard that before. The ransom that he's talking about is that government will not pay ransom. Well, can the government of Nigeria even pay ransom? In Kaduna State the other day, 
the uh, kidnappers were asking for 40 trillion. That's more than the entire budget Absolutely. of Nigeria for 2024. Uh, and in any case, as commander in chief of the armed forces, he will not come and say the government of Nigeria is going to pay ransom mm. to bandits. Yeah. His job is to secure this environment. And that's him reassuring the people of Nigeria that his government can do the job. All right. And that's why he has read the riot act to the security agencies. And I hope that these security agencies will know that it is their job yeah. to protect people. Whether they will be able to do it or not remains to be seen. But we have been given the promise that those 287 students uh, kidnapped from a secondary school and primary school, LBA primary school, and GSS secondary school in Kuriga, mm. in Chukun local government area, will be rescued. Mm. The Nigerian people wait. When they do that, then President Chinubu and his team will have been able to reassure us that indeed government is alive to his own responsibility before Adejobi will come and say we too should start arresting people. Well, he has said it, and it's out there. And if we have to arrest people with guns, we need we need to be able to empower ourselves to be able to do that. But in the meantime, you Dr. Abati, you before you speak, really of guns. course you do, Dr. Abati. It's just a no-brainer. In the meantime, the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Yesom Wiki, has said that his administration has taken measures aimed at reducing insecurity in the country's capital while addressing journalists shortly after a closed-door security meeting with the Senate on Wednesday, Wike also stated that with the measures put in place, the incidence of kidnappings and banditry has drastically reduced. Even the, the, the senators agreed that uh, security has quite improved in FCT. And let me also say, there's no part of this world where criminality has been abated. No. You have heard several times in America where people go to school and shoot students. So let people not have that impression that you cannot have one crime or the other. What we are trying to say, being able to limit or reduce the level of uh, insecurity. But if anybody tells you that our society is concerned, you will not have one form of uh, criminality. That is not correct. And we must have to tell ourselves the simple uh, truth. Also, most of the kidnappings to you here sometimes are segmented by people. There are some internal arrangements. Take for example, you have a, a housekeeper in the house, you have a driver who plot to kidnap the child of their master. In that case, what do you want us to, to do? All we can do is to see how the, the person has been kidnapped is being relieved. All right, um, go ahead, Rufai. I think the, the FCT minister keeps missing the point yeah. a lot. He was talking about gun violence in America. Mm -hmm. In America, they get people shot, yeah. But gun violence is different from massive levels of kidnapping, where in one fell swoop they take people hostage. And even when you have gun violence in America, you need to see the response time to that. And the reason for the pervasive gun violence is because of the lax gun laws, which is also codified in their constitution. The last I checked, we don't have right to guns in our constitution here. So we keep comparing things amiss. What we are saying is there's a rampant, increasing level of insecurity like it's never been seen before. Nigeria used to be a relatively peaceful country. Mm. People can hardly move around these days. That's what we are saying. It used to be relatively peaceful. I mean, apart from scavenging of riots and things like that and the days of armed robbery, but relatively there used to be a level of peace. Yes. But today we are having bandits in Kaduna alone, in the space of over the weekend till now, mm. you've had close to 400 people kidnapped that we can record. So that's what we are saying. So it's different from the gun violence in America. We keep mm. missing this. There's, oh, there's crime in America. No, I'm not making comparison with that. What we are saying is how can we solve our own problem? And it's not about solving our own problem. It's being accountable in the first place. Secondly, I think the fundamental thing about this conversation of, about citizen arrest and all of that we're talking about the police is trust. Mm -hmm. The truth is a lot of Nigerians don't trust the police. Mm -hmm. Let's not deceive ourselves. So there's, and because increasingly you've seen cases of when you even report to the police, they are informants yeah. within the fold that report back to the people you reported. I will tell you about the particular case somebody was saying the other day that his wife had been kidnapped. Mm -hmm. He was talking to the police. Guess what? All the things he was telling the police the kidnappers were telling him. I will even tell you a story. So, 
when you have cases like that, that most of the things you are telling the police in confidence, yeah, yeah, lack of trust. the mm -hmm. kidnappers are telling you the things you are telling the police in return. Yeah. So where's the level of trust? Mm -hmm. So it is also the trust that people don't have even in the larger society. That's why they can't even volunteer information as regards intelligence. I understand the role of uh, uh, you know citizen, uh, what is it called, citizen arrest. arrest. But how can you even affect it in a very lawless society? But I'll how give, can you even protect I, I, yourself? I'll give you an instance. That's the first I'll give question. You an instance. How? You have a lot of these government officials yeah. breaking the law. Right. Traffic laws, for instance. You have government officials brazenly breaking traffic laws. And security agents, military, Six, many uniform, ma ma military uni uni unity. They always pass in, you know, place the order not to pass mm -hmm. in traffic. Will you go and stand in front of them and say, I'm effective citizen arrest? So we've built a society that is largely very lawless. Mm -hmm. This is all the thing we do every day is to react to a bastardized society we've built over the years and the domino effects. And that's why all the things we say here are reactionary. So, except we go back and start fixing these things. Yes. The society will not move forward. There's Absolutely. a breakdown of trust. The police, I understand it's plight. In a sane society, you should volunteer information, but it's not in this country. Excuse not, me, wait, Rufai, we all do. It, I, we've seen amateur videos, we post them yeah, on we, Twitter, we send but, them but, tagged but security is, is, forces is, 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 every is, is, time. Is it not in the same we country that, that but, when you volunteer information, right. The police spokesman will be the first to fight you on Twitter. Exactly. So is that how they want to take information? Is but it not in this country we had yeah. the likes of the uh, Lawrence and Nini that was mm -hmm. conniving with police officers? Let me say, let, let let me say what I want to say. Only yesterday, oh. a son of a senior banker was kidnapped in the lucky area of Lagos. Hmm. And this was serious. They took this man, drove him around for a couple of hours and asked him to transfer money to a certain account and they let him go. I was in River State over the weekend. Uh, the, um, uh, the driver that chauffeured me around said the same thing to me, that what they do now is just kidnap people for money. I mean, you don't even have to be the son of a rich man. Yeah. You can just be uh, any, you know, anybody walking on the street and they'll just pick five people. So they've made 500,000 Naira that day. So they'll just ask for a hundred. So how do you protect yourself in that instance? Yeah. How do you even, you know, begin to start um, reporting to the police in that instance? When that incident has been reported, what happens next? It's just, and these are, it's just, it's just, it's it's just, just a lack of trust. So it's, it's, we don't, we people don't trust the authorities yes. again. Just Absolutely. like people don't trust government. It's, mm. it's be too many lies. You see, yeah. and the thing about lies is, as I tell adults, please don't lie to children. Mm -hmm. You say, oh, don't worry, I'll buy ice cream for you tomorrow, and the next right. thing you don't buy it. Right. They start to lose trust for you. It's just like what we're saying. Okay. Respect, they definitely. say in January now, they yeah. say they will do straight loan. They have pushed it to March now. They are saying they still want to push it forward again. You see, Definitely. it's things like those that. I don't trust you again. Those are the issues. The police, you will talk one thing with one man to stay, citizen arrest. And then, and then, the next thing, when the citizen try to do that, report the information, to, you will abuse them that you say on Twitter and say you don't want to be competent. So, was it not during the last election that somebody made a statement about a certain ethnic group and then the police was trying to, to explain defend it? And, you're right. to trust the 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 right. and we all heard what the person said, though. And the police, you see, let me tell you something. Came we built a country point. where some people are higher than the states. Mm -hmm. It's just example of what African China sang is on. Said, which man wait thief money? They go no go see in face for cry fire star. Poor right. man wait thief money. They go see in face for cry. So we've built a society only for the rich. If you are not higher mighty in this country, yeah. you are nothing. Absolutely. That's the kind of society we don't build a society that that takes care of the poor. Okay. So the police can be is is not by public address. All it's right. by building trust. All right, let's discuss another topic. And this is in Kano State, where the Hizba police arrested 11 Muslims because they were eating during fasting. And I mean, I think it was like 10 uh, male and one female ground nut seller. And guess what the Hizba said? That, you know, they don't arrest uh, non-Muslims because it's not their concern. Dr. Vati, come on. Help me out here. Well, the, the 11 people <laughs> yes. that were arrested have been released. Mm -hmm. You know, the Sharia, we keep saying, it's a personal orthodoxy. Yeah. You know, people who allow themselves to be governed under that orthodoxy, mm -hmm. you know, are entitled to it. It's not as if it's a criminal orthodoxy mm -hmm. that applies to everybody. So in this case, they said they are, uh, arrested 11 persons, including the grand seller. No grand Who didn't seller. know when she is there, they were eating uh, <laughs> 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 She was hungry. I mean, come on. They said they met with the uh, family members mm. and they gave an assurance that, uh, you know, next time they will not uh, eat uh, during the period they are supposed to be fasting. So, apparently, I hope they have established that those 11 persons are Muslims and they subscribe 
to the principles. However, what they did not point out is that even the rules for fasting, mm -hmm. one of the major Quite pillars of Islam, has certain exceptions. Mm -hmm. Now, if you are on a journey, you are allowed so, some room. Maybe you, you won't fast in between. If you are sick, maybe you have a certain sickness, you are exempted. If you are old and infirm, then you, you are not, yeah. it's not compulsory for you. But they can't just make it look, you know, general that uh, <laughs> every Muslim must fast. Those exceptions are also there. And it is open to abuse. This arrest is open to abuse because we don't know the exact condition mm -hmm. of those 11 persons. Now, the, the part that bothers me is that the same panel Isba was saying that they are not after Christians. So, mm. But if you are a Christian mm. and you go and prepare food for a Muslim <laughs> that is supposed to be fasting, yes. then you can be arrested. No, I don't think you know, they should extend it in that ridiculous manner. Mm -hmm. They should focus on the Muslim who has accepted to be governed by, uh, by uh, Sharia. Yeah. The Christian who is not under that orthodoxy is free. It should not be disturbed. But there's fasting. It, it, there's a time for fasting, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. what if I make the food before in the time in anticipation? <laughs> because I'm guilty of that. I know that I've cooked some food. Well, they are saying don't, don't, give, don't, give, don't give the most. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> the only question I want to ask is that at the point of arrest, since they said that they're only arresting Muslims and yeah. not non-Muslims, at what point did they establish that the people that they were arresting were not Muslims? Was it after they'd been brought into custody mm -hmm. and they'd been, you know, the whole shame of, show of arrest? Because it's very dicey when you live in a multi-religious society mm. and want very to enforce like a particular, yeah. um, you know, style or way. It's, it's very difficult. And even for the Muslims who have said that they come under voluntarily, this yes. um, um, under Sharia, how many Muslims came under, was it, was it by choice? Was it by compulsion? Do you mm. come under it automatically? Was it, so these are questions that boggle the mind, that in mm. a state where you have a very good percentage mm. of their members being from a faith that's different from Islam, so it may even be Christians or traditional worshippers, but they don't, how do you differentiate? Mm -hmm. How do you have a separate um, set of laws for one and the other? At what point do you ask, wait, are you Muslim? Okay, I'll arrest you. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So that, that's where I find it very difficult to understand and see how this will be put into, into practice without there being some sort of abuse mm -hmm. or some sort of infringement of rights. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's very difficult. The thing I would like to ask is, mm -hmm. based on the constitution, Nigeria is a secular state. It is a secular state. So so in a secular state, why are you having a religious police? Can I also ask, if we are having religious police, can we also have our Isheshe police, our Ifa police, our Shongu police? Sharia is constitutional. I know. It's a personal orthodoxy. I know. It's a personal orthodoxy. The Sharia is constitutional because it was pushed for. Can adherents of other religion to push for recognition in the constitution? Can we also? Because you see, let's be careful when it comes to things like this. Mm -hmm. Isba is out there now arresting people in a state that is secular. Sharia is constitutional, Dr. Abati, but the ground norm is the national constitution, isn't it? I wonder. You have a right yeah. to freedoms. Yes, if your rights are violated, even you have a right to freedom. Right. Are the rights of these individuals not violated? Yes. based on the constitution of this country. But, because I, That's I, why I was going that me. route of can we have Ifa police, mm -hmm. Isheshe police? It means recognition in the constitution. Mm -hmm. So the ground norm is the constitution. Mm -hmm. Are they not rights? Yeah. Let's be careful. Well, all right. I want. I just wonder what they will charge uh, someone like me who cooked for some of my Muslim friends. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I did. Now I'm just confessing. Now maybe though I don't live in Kano, so I'm not. I'm not going don't to do be it. In I can't do it in so, Kano. But even they're my friends, and they, you know, they're fasting, and I try to, you know, help out. I just wonder what the charge will be. But like you said, like you said, there should be a freedom of religion. So and you've freedom. been going around. Cooking. Yes, I've been doing that. <laughs> <laughs> because that's the only contribution I have. Know. <laughs> that's the only well, contribution. I time. I'm eating <laughs> Don't worry, your jollof and your pepper soup will be ready. Just let me know. And I, I'm, you know, I'm always up to the task, Doctor Abati. Well, I'd like to thank you all for your thank great you. analysis, as always, on what's trending. Well, that's all I have for you guys on what's trending today. I'll see you all tomorrow. And by when I saw like your name, you walk up. Now it's time is twenty-four. Now no go no. Can I be festive? But I will go. I saw you no see me again. I call one day.
ono fana bi afran prime minister ko wali yini nandi ko suede nandi ki gaya bi fan dama mi gaya kini ki huri ki ku wasta makinda ni ne ono taga siya ka di chiche ni no akuko wasta maka son question sana ajoya an wasta maka ko suweza kwa ni ko wasya nandi mad no maz nane kanu kabulida of indigenous people of biafra so if you are the king of 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 the king